So I'm Lizzie and I'm a uh, final year trainee paediatric ACP in the Children's Emergency Department. I've only been at UHS since April this year um, and moved from a previous ACP role um, in London. So I moved to UHS from London because I want to be part of a wider um, ACP team. And although I'm still the only paediatric ACP in the emergency department, um, it's just really lovely to be part of a bigger ACP team who understand the job role. I really love the team at UHS. I love how they embrace ACPs as part of the workforce, um, as just as part of the standard workforce, actually, rather than just any workforce. Um, and and I, I've, I've not been here very long, but I've been welcomed so warmly by both the Children's Emergency Department and by the ACP team within the Emergency Department. I couldn't be more grateful. It's been such a good move. <laughs> so my background is very much in paediatric emergency medicine, um, and I've worked in paediatric emergency medicine for just shy of 18 years now, um, and always worked from a nursing background. Um, and then when I got to a certain stage in my sort of career on a senior nursing point of view, um, I realised that the management side of things was not going to be for me, and I just was getting further and further away from patients. And that's not what I wanted, and that's not why I went into my profession. So at that point, I started looking into what I could do to make sure that I stayed near um, to my patients and stayed clinical. Um, and then an opportunity came up for me to start my advanced practice master's. <laughs> the steepest learning curve um, between trans transferring from being a nurse, not just a nurse, but a nurse, to being uh, an advanced practitioner um, is the responsibility of discharge home. Um, and that's takes quite a long time to get your head around, yeah.